welcome to this episode of Geeky Baker. Today I'm going to be making some fifth element element cookies. So you know there were four elements and we are going to be making our four elements out of peanut butter cookie dough, pre-ready to go, all ready to cut out, roll out, cut out. So we're also going to need some Wilton's chocolate candy melts. You can use regular chocolate if you want to. And we're also going to need a plastic piping bag pre-fitted with a number three tip. And you're going to need a knife of some kind to cut out your cookies. So I've printed out a template that we're going to use to cut out our four fifth element cookies. And so you're also going to need a little bit of extra flour and a rolling pin to roll that cookie dough out. So we're going to place our template down on top and then we're going to cut around it. We're going to bake them off and then we'll decorate. So I'm going to start by opening my package of peanut butter cookie dough. And I chose peanut butter because it most matches the color of the stones. We sprinkle down a little bit of flour. This is just to keep everything from sticking. And I'm going to flour my rolling pin and just start rolling this out. Now, pick it up, make sure it's not sticking. Because as you roll it out, the surface area is going to increase. And that means that you have more that is exposed to the table without any type of flour to keep it from sticking to the table. So, make sure you're nicely coated. Make sure you get flour all over your kitchen as well. Now I want these cookies to be pretty thick, so I'm going to roll this out pretty thickly. And I'm going to put my template down starting over here. Make sure you keep your fingers out of the way. There's one. Now if you go straight over right beside it, you are going to have a line that's already pre-cut for you. And you can just go ahead and very carefully cut out the next bit. Try not to rotate that as you go. So I'm going to just go ahead and cut out the rest of these, and I will be back. Now I'm going to very carefully pick those up and put those into my pan. And to do that, I'm going to use my offset spatula so I can slide underneath them and get them really easily without disrupting the cookie shape too very much. Now you can use aluminum foil or you can use parchment paper. Do not use wax paper. It's not really meant for baking and your cookies are going to have a crayon-y kind of flavor, which is not so delicious. So I'm going to make some more of these out of this leftover dough and I'm going to bake these at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to see where they are. It recommends 9 to 14 minutes. So we will see where we are in about 10. 
So it's been about 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take my peanut butter fifth element cookies out of the oven. Now at this point, these cookies are very unstable. They need a good couple of minutes to solidify and for all the gluten to kind of harden up so they'll stick together when you transfer them to your cooling rack. After about five minutes, you are going to transfer your cookies to your cooling rack. Now this peanut butter um, cookie dough held its shape pretty well. They're a little bit soft and rounded, but that's okay. And then while you're waiting for those to cool completely, you're going to be melting down some of our Wilton's Chocolate Melting Wafers using the exact same uh, technique that you would use to make modeling chocolate. So 10 second burst, stir, 10 second burst, stir, and continue until it is melted really nicely. So we're going to go ahead and add our completely melted chocolate. Make sure it's completely melted or you're going to get little stuff stuck in the bottom of your tip. So I always turn the edge out a little bit and kind of hold it there at the bottom, pinch it off because this is melted chocolate that does want to run. all of that in there. It's good enough. All right. So, I've turned my cookie to the other way because we are going to have our edge of our triangular prism down here and then we're going to have our upper edge here. So you want to be very careful when you're working with this chocolate because it does want to run out of the bag. So kind of flick it up at the end. Do the next one. Same way. Missed a spot. There we go. Just go back and get it. If you get some little drops, just kind of wipe them off. You can clean it up. lift up. We're trying to do this all in one line. Makes it a little bit easier. Alright, so we are going to give those a chance to cool and then we're going to start decorating. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with I have changed out my tip to a Wilton number two tip and that's going to control the flow a little bit better. So we're going to start with fire and fire has six wavy vertical lines that start from the bottom. Next we're going to have earth and earth is going to be six straight horizontal lines at the bottom. And remember, this is our bottom. Next, we are going to do air. And air is six wavy lines at the top going horizontally. So.
And last, we are going to do water. And water is six wavy lines at the bottom. Now, if you're not comfortable working with chocolates, you can obviously do this with icing. It might be a little bit easier for you. And there we have it. Earth, fire, air, and water. Four elements. Bonus round. Okay, so because the fifth element is love, we are going to be decorating our heart cookie with some Wilton's red decorating icing. And the great thing about the Wilton's brand of products is they all fit together. So take one of your screw on coupling portions and you can just screw that right on. I am using a number five tip. So I'm going to go all the way around the heart. And boom, there's your love 